guitarist will play some shit, and I'm just like, I know where you got that from. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? No. Like, dude, I know. And then you, and then you play it for them, and they're like, I've heard that song in months. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. Fucking priceless, dude. It's like, that's what fucking music is. Yeah. By the way, we're, we're talking about the whole thing about like, <laughs> when, when, you, when you, you know when you hear music and, or no, when you make music and it sounds similar to what is out there, it's, it's not supposed to be a bad thing. It's just the fact that you're incorporating your style and taking influence from another style. You know what I mean? That right. That is what right. music is because he was... Um, he was just showing me some new music, original music. What was the name of it? There's still so much to live for. Oh, shit. I was listening to that before you got here. Check it out, guys. It is a damn good song to listen to. Seriously, if you want to know more about this guy, check it out. Um, really quick, I do want to ask you like right away, what are your future plans, though? Like, What do you plan for the next couple of years? Where do, where do you see mm. yourself in five years? Five years. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely want to get some more music out. I have a just been feeling really inspired lately. Dope. Um, and I know what I so what I want and what I see is uh, I want to go international. Sick. Okay. Um, and I would like, yeah, just travel, man. Um, I know what you mean, like with your music. With my music, yeah, yeah but yeah. but I want to travel. See, it's tricky because I'm, a, you know, I'm a dad, mm -hmm. got my family, so I would want. It's got to be nice and easy, <laughs> and it's very tricky. It's gonna be hard and probably expensive. And so not easy. Not easy, but <laughs> but it it's the way that it's gotta be, you know. Yeah. I'm not fucking because I've I've been on tour before, not as many times as I would like to have. But the first time, I, first and only time I went on tour, you know, we stayed in the van, we slept on the floor, we did all that shit. Mm -hmm. And that was fun, you know. But now, I feel like, like, you know, I could still do that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. But I want to I wanna sleep on a bed. You know, I want a nice, you know, we, we got Airbnbs now. Um, yeah, but the, the money that goes into that, you know what I mean? The money that goes into that. That's like a day's worth of gas. So I mean, you know, yeah. the 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 hard part is getting sponsorships and um you know, getting that assistance from some kind of festival that's going around like, "Hey, we'll pay you 20 bucks just to, you know, come over." It's not a lot, but right. Dude, I we're not going to be able to sleep on a bed for a minute. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to for a minute, dude. I mean, but hold on, you said in I said in the next 5 years, so we don't know what that's going to be like. Come Hopefully. back to this in five years. Yeah, yeah. See, that's exactly what this is all about. Exactly. I was I was texting this homie and uh, I was telling him like you know the whole thing about this podcast is it about current evaluation or um, you know following? It's more for like five years down the road when this guy's fucking famous and on your TV, you'd be like, oh, he has a podcast before he got big. Check it out. What was he talking about? What was what was he like? That's the shit. Fuck that guy. What? <laughs> fuck you. He, he's saying fuck him. The version of you. Oh, right now. Right. Yeah, because this is, that's you five years from now. Yeah. So, how old are you now? 29. 29. 34-year-old uh, Tony. What's up, bro? Hopefully we're still cool. Hopefully I didn't kill you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, I was like, <laughs> he was giving me, he was giving me directions all the way over here. And he was like, so there's a, there's a, there's a hidden road. <laughs> like what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's always kind of weird. It, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Like, should I tell somebody I'm here? But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they, everybody they knows. Know. They know. I can't get away with the murder, dude. I can't. Uh, oh, dude, I was talking to this chick. Um. Uh, and she was like, how, how can I trust to come over and, you know, do anything? Like, you can kill me. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'd be kind of hard to for me to kill you because I'd get caught really easily. Like, especially when you're the type of person that's always, uh, like, posting and, and talking to people. And a little social, yeah. I'm going to get questioned, okay? And, I mean, I do have, like, a 10-foot hole. Buried, but oh god! But we we don't need to talk about well, that. That's, that's unrelated. Yeah, that's yeah, unrelated. Well, we'll talk about that 
off of the podcast. I'm not going anywhere to talk about anything <laughs> with you. Fair yeah. enough. Especially I mean, it is Halloween, dog. Oh, God. Be careful. Anyways, um, I really hope you get to that point in the in those five years, dude. Honestly, um, it is not easy. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know much about it. I'm barely just trying to get into All I that. know is that shit's not going to happen from streams. That shit don't pay nothing. nothing. Music is free. Yeah. So we gotta figure something else out. When did that happen, by the way? I have, like, no recollection as to when uh, they signed off saying music was just gonna be free on the <laughs> Well. That is crazy. I mean, would you say it started with Napster? Or LimeWire? I, like I wasn't, yeah. like, in that, like, fa- I I know basically nothing about Napster. I mean, I was all for it, you know, because everybody was, like, like, even, like, System of a Down had the steal this album, like, thing going, you know? And it's like, you know, it was like, know. fuck the label and, like, um, download our music and share it with everybody. And I think it really, like, it it was, an evol- it, you know, it's almost like, it's very punk, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, fuck the establishment, fuck capitalism. Yeah, like, yeah, I see like, that. Let music, let music be available for everyone. So I'm also grateful, but also the... It's a double-edged sword. Now mm-hmm. music is free. Damn. I mean, but it the payment does come with, uh, you know, going on tour and meeting people, selling merch, you know. Yeah. Um, getting signed to a record deal. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? Would, do you plan on being independent or? Probably uh, independent. Just because, I mean, yeah. I mean, label. Have the rights to your own music. Like, that, that's huge. Yeah, totally. No, I know what you mean. There's a whole conversation about that with. Uh, I mean, I have to really trust you. You know. It's a corporation. It's a couple hundred thousand million dollar yeah. corporation. Don't don't trust them. Yeah, for real. It's, it's the unfortunate truth, guys. But like like it's this reality show- though. It's it's well. That's the crazy thing is it's the new reality. Like shit's always changing. With crypto now, dude. How do you, how do you feel about now? Cryptocurrency, bitcoins. Damn. See. NFT type shit. Because I I haven't, I haven't gotten into it with anybody. No one around me like likes yeah. it. I'm like, no, dude, like, yeah, just, dude, fucking craziest thing I heard the other day. Um, if you're the type of person that when someone comes to you and talks to you about NFTs, Bitcoin, or anything that is cryptocurrency, and you deny to get into it, you have become your parents and technology. Oh, yeah. Hey, mijo, how, uh, how, do, you, how do you do this? Like, mom, right. so easy. Guys, it's. Mm. It's not that easy, but like it's right. it's the new right. fucking world, guys. I'm telling it you, is, if you guys though. do li- listen to me, get into some stock markets, Bitcoin, NFTs. Just look into it, okay? Just watch the video, Damn. and maybe the importance of it might kick you in the ass, but See, maybe not. I don't know. Well, what's been tripping me out is seeing those like you know now they have the kiosks and shit like that where you can like exchange your Bitcoin, and I knew for a while the big. I've seen that. Yeah. Well. That's okay. So that's the way that I perceived it, because the last time that I remember, that was the big challenge, was how would we, you know, do the transaction? Do the transaction? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, so. it's all like through millions of computers out in. I can't remember where. It's 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 in a big ass field out in some desert. But it consumes so much electricity, too. Oh, but, that's the problem. And they're saying that it's causing a global warming and it's going to be like the failure to uh, half of the half the U.S. There was one... There, there's one Bitcoin. I forget what it was called. But they are switching to, like, more of a green, sustainable um, source. But, Bitcoin, but it's still technology, right? Bitcoin refuses... Well, be, um, it's because they they've got such like um, traction right now. Yeah, right? It, it's definitely been build, building up with like what three point five million. Um, I mean, I I don't know much about it. I I know some, but that's better than none. Anyways. Yeah, the thing the thing that throws me off with any type of Bitcoin is like I was one of the ones that was um, stoked on Dogecoin. And then only to find out that it was fucking just Elon Musk just pumping that shit up, you know. Really? Uh huh. Oh he, shit! He just pumped. It. it was it was a Maybe that it was a joke. Oh, that's why it went down. Yeah, so I'm, I feel all like like what Bro. the fuck? That's I was up. curious why it was like. 
inferior. They just inflated it's like, it. Why? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like um, saying, "Oh my God, look at me!" Like you know, new well, paint job. Yeah, he was like, "Dogecoin is the next big thing," and because and he, he said it, of course you're gonna be listening to it. Yeah, and he had a and, bunch of it. I mean, this from my understanding. Uh, we need somebody to fact check us. <laughs> <laughs> fact check us. But anyways, I doubt these people want to be hearing or watching us talk about Bitcoin. Let's talk about something that we, you know, that we all like. Um, and that's tattoos. I'm curious about the tattoos, bro. Give us some stories. Stories. Cool. Yes. I'm going with that. Um, First okay. one. First tattoo. I had two tattoos at the same time. Oh, shit. Um, it was. Yeah, you can move that. One on my shoulder. Um, big. Naruto fan, when I got the cur- curse mark. Dope, um, that's cool. I also got the Uchiha emblem on my back. First tattoos, I was like 13. I also got a piercing. <laughs> Which one? Um, it was a lip piercing. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <was> gangster, man. <laughs> what about the rest of them? Because you got some predominant ones on your forums here. Yeah, yeah. So these, uh, most of these came after my divorce. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then I was just like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do tattoos. I'm going to do a ton of tattoos. Um, but the first tattoo I got, no, well, not the first tattoo, mm-hmm. but after these ones, the first one on my arm actually was to cover up a scar. It was really stupid. And so that's this one here. You can't even see it now. Dope. All right. And then, and then I just kept going. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's, it's slowly going to build up to a full sleeve anyways. Yeah. No. One, of, one of my buddies, um, like I said, it was after the divorce, but I became uh, friends with him and his wife. And they're both tattoo artists. It's Lindsay and Kristen. And um, they, this was their first tattoo that they, they did on me. That's Cri- sick. Kristen did the, did the top one, and then uh, Lindsay did the bottom one. And I love the outlining. It's thick. Dude. It's dope. And that was the first time I really started seeing like anybody do different types of, like shading. Like I didn't know that was a thing. You know, like the stipple. Like, you can see, if you know what you're looking for, then once you start looking at the the newer, the newer tattoos, you can mm-hmm. see his style change. Like this one's more like the dotted. And you start doing the spacing of parts. This one was more of a scratch. And then he would always, like, trail off on the ends, which I thought was really cool. That's sick. And then hers are always, like, from my understanding, what they told me mm. is she, I don't know. I don't know enough about <laughs> her to be confident. <laughs> but she's, she's got a, a definitely a, her own style. And she did this for a period of time, too. So it's almost like you can see, like... Yeah, I don't know. It's like, that's the phase. Like... The resemblance in, in, in each one? Yeah. It's her style. I yeah. definitely see that. So cool. Would you recommend them? Are they at a tattoo parlor? Do they have Damn. some? Damn. I don't even remember where they're at right now. Ooh. They moved up. Um, I think it was called The Harvest. The Harvest Tattoo. Hmm. But last I remember, hmm. they... Um, they rented out a church and turned it into a tattoo, <laughs> tattoo shop, dude. That's so gangster. I love that. <laughs> I love those guys, man. They're so cool. Talking about tattoo artists, Lauren Todd, love you, dog. <laughs> I, st- I know I got to still put his uh, podcast up. I had to clip it. Yeah, never mind. I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> um, but, dude, if you uh, if you do get in contact with him or if you do find him, definitely put him on your page, man, because... That thick outlining, a lot of people look out for that. Yeah, for sure. Damn, and this one was a really cool one, too. I forget his name, but I met him. He was hanging out with, with them, and he passed away shortly after. Dude. But he had a very, he did these types. So if you know who I'm talking about, he's from Denver. He was in a hardcore band, and he did, you know, that kind of style where they're you know who I'm talking about, please comment. Yeah, I please. Forgot. I mean, it might take a couple of years for someone to see this and be like, I know who you're talking about. Damn. <gasps> we'll give you a hundred. I will give you a hundred dollars if you comment on that. What's that? What's that say? I don't know. Tragedy <laughs> above his pelvis. What? <laughs> what? Tragedy. Tragedy above to Above his pelvis. Is that how he died? Hold on. Love, let me die. Oh, you know, you know who that is? Yeah. Yo, that's our guitarist. 
when, <laughs> when you put this on your story, I got like 10 new followers. I was just like, oh shit, okay, this is gonna be dope. Hell yeah, dude. So how fucking yeah, hopefully it's a nice trade. Definitely listen to his stuff. Hopefully, if you guys already know his stuff, spread the word, of course. Please. Please and thank you. Um, what other things uh, do you dabble in other than music, dude? Like, what other hobbies? Other hobbies? Um, I mean, I like to... I've been trying to draw more. Definitely trying to draw more. Um, my daughter and my son, they're both... It's so crazy because it's like... You know, they're getting into skating and they're getting into, you know, I like to get them around artistic stuff and they're really great at drawing. That's dope. Um, so it's just a really great excuse for me to do those things as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's cool. Yeah. But nothing serious. I think it's just good exercise. <laughs> I definitely get I mean, kids definitely will wear you out. Damn. That's yeah. crazy though. Two kids. Yeah. Well, trying, I got... Trying to you know, do your music. I got three. Oh. <laughs> Bro, don't be silly. Rap your willy, man. I mean, okay, did you choose to be a dad? Like, what was that situation? Damn, Did no. you always want to be one? Definitely wasn't ready. Definitely wasn't ready. But also, like, abortion was always, like, you know, like, what the fuck are like, you going to do? You know? know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, it was almost like we had to do it. But I kept saying I wasn't ready. And then, You're but, never ready, right? But That's it's okay. It's okay. I love my kids. I love my kids. I love my kids. My it, goodness. I do wish. Excuse me? Whoa. Well, wh whoever or whatever is in here, you can go in now. Oh, man. I pissed somebody off. Yo, this I'm guy sorry. brought this guy brought a spirit into my house and he dropped my painting by Lekuru Neku. AKA Ruben, thank you again. Some spirit dropped it right now. Oh my bad. I mean, damn. Or maybe we're just really tripping. We're fucking high. I mean, because this water is laced, so. I did say I was gonna kill you, right? <laughs> he did say he was <laughs> gonna did. kill me. Oh god. No, 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 no. You, you, got, you got too much. You got too much. We well, are live, right? Um, no. No, I forgot to press the button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and still recording. We still got, like, uh, five minutes to record with, bro. Anything we, Anything you want to tell the audio listeners? Hmm. Before we get off with them? No, just, I'm really pushing the album right now, you know? We're doing everything I can. I'm doing everything I can to just keep pumping out content. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to do the best I can. To make it the best content, you know, that I'm capable of right now. Yeah. So the that. more you support me, the more I'll put it right back out there. Right back to you. Check it out, guys. And before we get off, I mean, because I know there's going to be a couple people uh, curious. Like, you are divorced, right? Mm-hmm. You do have three kids. Mm-hmm. You have a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, ladies. Never mind. Well, hearts are broken, but that's okay. Yeah, we've you been together for like... Eight years now. Wow. Yeah, congrats, man. Yeah. yeah, I feel very, like, like it's taken a lot, and it's, you know, like I said, a, a lot changed after my suicide attempt. You know, a lot really changed. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. I mean, since then, so, like, what what drove you into that, though? Um, You know, because I know, know there's a combination of things. A combination of Whatever things. Whatever you're, you're open to talk about. No, I mean, a lot of it is, you know... Like, you are a product of your environment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Ship Rock's kind of a depressing place. You know, there's not a lot going on. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, there's a lot of places like that. New Mexico is kind of, it's like the, the poorest state, you know, in the United States. But So they say, yeah. So they say, yeah. But, like, you know, I didn't have water or electricity until, you know, I was well into high school. Not to say that that makes me depressed. But like, you know... There's a combination of things. And, of course, like, the trauma from, like, in my opinion, I blame the boarding schools, you know. <laughs> Actually, the the album cover is the boarding school. I don't know really? if anyone catches that. Yeah. Dude, I saw it, and it made me think of a Pierce the Veil album, but it was a little similar. Yeah. But somebody, I noticed it I, wasn't the same. I always said, somebody said that same thing to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That yeah. is really dope. Holy shit, dude. So, if... 
if we go into the album and really listen to the lyrics, we will definitely get like a little bit of the taste of it's what. It's all about trauma. The whole thing is about trauma. Really, it's about you know, it's like uh, survivor's guilt. You know, your friends dying on you. It's about you know, it's about the boarding. There's relentless is about integer intergenerational trauma. Um, and then, yeah, it, everything isolations about manipulation and and you know. It's all different types of trauma. I know about manipulation. I mean, if you don't, you, you're lucky. Yeah. But yeah. I think the big thing is, it's, the reason is because the only way to get through, to overcome trauma, to, to process trauma, is to talk about it, is to process it, not to like, you know. Yeah. So the yeah. point is, the point is to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, my aggressive vocalist, he was like, um, I'm kind of scared to, I, I hope it's okay that I mentioned this, by the way, um, uh, my boy, but he was like saying, um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure if I should be tapping into the past and bringing those things up that are too sensitive because I don't know if I'll be able to perform in them on stage. And I'm like, but dude, that's the point of writing music to yeah. let that out, put it oh. on paper and let other people, people feel that, you know, like for anyone that's curious, if, um, if you ever listen to Inviting the Dems, first five, or even the, just the first three, it's really just about, like, uh, <laughs> fuck, it's kind of it's sad. You, you know Secrets? The band Secrets? Long story short, they have, like, two albums. I think it might be three. It's just the same shit. I'm lonely. I'm oh, sad. Okay. I'm brokenhearted. I miss you. Oh, okay. My first three songs are about that. It needs to be about that sometimes. You gotta let that shit out and That's put it into musical form because somebody else is gonna be able to listen to it and get the same energy. And, you know, even if it's sad, that's what music is. It's a fucking, like, portal, dude. Yeah. It makes you feel that sadness or it can make you feel triumphant. Like, I'm better. I, I'm, I'm good through this. Right. Or it's just, like, a memory. You know, you listen to it five years from now. Well, it's interesting, too, because people, like, people process music differently, mm -hmm. you know? So, like, my girlfriend, you know... She, when she, she's very much like empathetic. So when she hears a sad song, she feels sad. When she hears a happy song, she feels happy. But like for me, when I hear a sad song, I feel comfort, you know? So like, I love sad. I love everything sad. I love everything dark. And she yeah. likes dark shit too, you know, to say that she doesn't. Mm -hmm. But like, it she's, affects her. She's empathetic ways. too much, maybe? You know, yeah. she's affected by that energy. Just like, ooh. Yeah, people, you know, people, yeah, people are all different. So it's very interesting. And so, like, yeah, nowadays, when I meet somebody, I talk to them, I don't even tell them I do music anymore. It's like, you know, if it comes up, then then they're interested. Mm -hmm. But by then, I know what kind of music they like. They don't like metal. I'm not going to show them the band, you know. But also, if they're not into, like, sad shit i'm not gonna show them my stuff you know <laughs> i mean hey they might like they might know somebody that likes it you know I, yeah i i definitely understand where you're coming from but at the same time like i've given my flyers out to you know six-year-old folks i'm like i know you're not gonna make it but if you know someone that might want it word here give it to your grandkids right and then i see their grandkid i'm like yeah. dude what's up it's the crazy <laughs> shit i mean mm. you, you you never know where, where it's gonna go so can we talk about the the upcoming festival? I'm curious. Yes. About that. Oh, yes. Oh my God! I'm glad you brought that up. So, nice. um, well, first of all, I need to cut off part three of this podcast, guys. For the audio listeners, we're still going to be recording. If you guys do want to continue this, we got like 40 minutes left. If you guys want to watch on YouTube, it will only be available on YouTube because I'm going to stop recording right now. But I love you guys. Check out Tony Heartless. Check him out on Facebook, Instagram, Tony Heartless with an I. And check out his uh, original music, which you can find on most music platforms. And check out his band, which he does aggressive vocals with Heart Museum. Oh. Check it, y'all. Can't wait to see you guys next week with Shay from uh, Seven Days Rest. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right, guys. Later. And we're done with that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so the pod, um, the festival. Oh, my God. So I just got these new lights. They're going to be coming in soon. Really? You got fucking uh, lights? Well, dude? okay, okay. They're, oh, well, they're these lights. 
but I got two more. Oh, sick. So they're going to be, like, right in the front because oh, the venue that I own doesn't have um, its own, like, well, we do, but we need, like, stands for them. There's, like, those fucking big motherfuckers that go, wah, wah. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll, in the future, we'll put that in. But, um, mm. yeah, so you never answered if, if you were going to be a part of it. I didn't. Or I'd did like you? To. I don't know. I want to, yeah. Okay, okay. So you are done. When was it? Uh, the first Saturday of December. It is uh, okay. December 3rd. That should be good. I mean, I, I'm assuming I'll be laid off by then. Laid off? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of fucking stoked for it. Because it's like, it's kind of the perfect gig for like a musician, you know? Because you work. All th- I mean, if you don't, it's kind of risky traveling in the winter, don't get me wrong. Right. But you get job attached to unemployment. And you get to focus on doing shows, making music. and But you're not stressed about like if i don't make money at the show then that kind of sucks you know yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah. mean i mean i don't you know i don't go to a show thinking i'm gonna make money anyways but. right so that that is the other thing so this event um i did i remember i sent a text out and I'm, by any chance do you remember the text that i said um this is going to be a charity event for the artists are not going to be um getting mm-hmm. paid yeah i saw that so one other thing that was actually kind of good, and I'm just gonna open up to everybody because I am oh. slow sometimes. Oh, we're still live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just you and me, dude. Uh, you ever no. like? You ever feel like you're being watched? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm fucking hate that feeling because we are. We're being watched by six people right now at the moment. Much love to all of you guys. Hi, who's all here? Yeah, if you guys want to send a question in, um. Send it in. I'll, I'll move my head like this because I recorded my phone. Is that Ruben? Lakuruneku. Yo, your painting just fell down. This guy brought a spirit in and made it fall. Uh, <laughs> crazy enough. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm recording on my phone because you got to fake it till you make it, right? I'm going to get like one of those nice ass cameras that YouTubers yeah. use. It's expensive though. It's like, would you rather put into a mixer or a camera? You got to make choices. Like, yeah. I know. The phone's fine. Eventually, get it. Yeah. I actually just got a bunch of new equipment. Um, I just paid off a bunch of new equipment. Um, and now my laptop is about time to get swapped out. So it's like, damn. So it's, like, it's always something, thing. you know? Yeah, yeah, that's it's the next thing. thing. I'm still getting uh, three new uh, SM58 microphones. Nice. With two new stands, because there's going to be two people... <laughs> <laughs> Two people here, two people over here for a different podcast. Mm, um, that's going to be fun. Damn. And um, anyway, all right, back to the festival. So the festival is going to be uh, a fundraiser for either the St. Vincent's Hospital for um, Children. Okay. I, I believe the one in Albuquerque, the really big one. Okay. Or not Albuquerque, but... Um, either that one or to a uh, women's rights charity event, cool. which I have not found one yet, which is important because I need to find that before I actually do the event. So now I got some time. If you guys are curious about checking out Heart Museum, come check over um, Santa Fe, New Mexico, December 3rd. That is a Saturday, uh, 3910 Fields Lane. I will be posting a flyer out soon so you guys can check it out. But it's going to be a festival. Five dollar in five. Five, hold on. Five dollar entry, and it gives you all day access. It is going to be from noon to ten p.m. So it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. But um, it will probably stay the same uh, lining that I had, um, because I know I had you right after Skinwalkers, I believe. Oh yeah. Uh, no, I had you as Tony Heartless. Yeah, yeah, you did. I didn't yeah. have you as the band. Yeah, you was did. Was it the band that was gonna play? Uh, or was it just no, you? it was. It was me. Okay, yeah, okay. Interesting. So, so what do you want to do for this one? Do you do you want to keep your place in the rapper, singer, songwriter uh, category, or what's the plan? Well, usually, I mean, I'm always, I'm always down to do the band if they. He's are obligated able to say to. this because you guys are watching. <laughs> if they are, if you guys are able to, then yes, of course, I would love to do the band. I would love but to have both of you guys. That'd be sick. I. Maybe no. not. Maybe not both? I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like sucking your own dick, huh? It's like, ooh, can I be on twice? Well, I don't know if I'm, if I'm capable. Because, you know, I did two shows last weekend. And, and my voice is mm-hmm. barely hanging on. 
I think he's on the fight. He sounds fine, right? He's chill. December 3rd, where in Santa Fe? Yes. Oh, I should have talked about our next Heart Museum show, too. Man. Oh, yeah, when is that? I mean, people could still check it out. Um, When is that? October 22nd in Farmington. It's a Four Corners Metal Fest. It's a bunch of good bands on it. Where's my phone? 20, right here. Oh. 22nd. That's, um... That's a Sunday? Remind me. Next uh, Heart Museum show, guys. October 22nd in Farmington. Check it out. When is that? Because I know I either I got something or now I do have something. Oh, yeah. October 22nd. Damn. So it's Leviathan, Axe, Nil, Us, Graves of the Monuments, Dying Tribe, Born of Winter, Ocean Harvest, Six Million Dead. What's this one? Death. What's that say? Which one? Beneath? This one? Yeah. Oh, Death Ben. Benefits. Death Benefits. <laughs> yeah, Death Benefits. That's a sick name. Salvation's Lost. Sally's Lost. Never Reborn. Decapitation of a New Day. When Darkness Falls, Plume, Altum. I'm not sure if that's one win. Altum. Red Lotus and Itami. Holy shit, man. That, that, that sounds like a dope fest. I don't know if it's going to be flipped or not. Is that flipped? Look out for that flyer, guys. Oh, yeah, it is flipped. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, with an iPhone, we could just, like, flip it right there anyways. Anyways, but, um, do you mind? Yeah. That's sick. It's so cool to see a band that you played with play with another like festival. Like you see that logo and like, I know those guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Damn. Yeah. That is definitely dope, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. By the way. Oh, dude, I've been wanting you on since um. What? Since uh, July. July. Yeah, just about July. Right when I heard from uh, about you and I got into your show, I was like, okay, okay, let's talk. And then, you know, it, it just didn't work out. Yeah. But it works out for a reason, guys. Tony Heartless needed to come in so we can talk and share his shit. You guys need to check it out if you guys have it. Um, so you talk, told me about your first acid trip. What was the first mushroom trip? First mushroom trip. Well, was that was that more of a curveball, or was it kind of like just the same? I'm I'm very lucky. I have not had a bad mushroom trip. Ooh, but have, I haven't. You, have you lived? If you haven't, uh, <laughs> I but mean, I, bro, it, it puts you into into perspective. Damn. See, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've I've had scary, people dude. call me. I've had people call me on, on like, bad fuck, trips. On bad trips, yeah. I'm like, oh, I just have to try to talk. You're like, yo, you're fuck. Doing? I love you. I'm here for you. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'll, I'll see you. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had to drive to somebody? Um, I almost, <laughs> but I, you know, I would have if I could have, but I didn't have a yeah. ride at the time. Yeah, I know that struggle. Those who actually do come in your uh, in your need to babysit you, those are good friends. Those are good friends, man. Toxin, what's up? I'm Toxin. Uh, not sure who that was for, but yes, Taylor Toxin. Hi. Um, Heart Museum playing October 22nd. What day is that? Uh, oh. Sunday or Saturday? Yeah, I forgot. Failed to mention that one. Um, Saturday. It's on a Saturday. Which one? Which one? Dope. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, two, three weeks. Two weeks, two weeks. from, uh, two weeks from this Saturday, guys. Check it. Yo, so what what are some things that I didn't ask you? What are some things that you want to share with your fans out there? Hmm. Huh, let me see. What are some questions out there that you may may be able to answer? <laughs> we got merch. We just just got merch. Dope. Um Right now, the rule, I'm trying to stick to it so hard, but we're trying to make it to where you can only get the shirts at our shows. Like, kind of as an incentive, I guess. 
I got people hitting okay. me up that want shirts. And I'm yeah, like, I, feel I want you to have shirts. Why so. don't you sell it to them? To them. Oh yeah. I mean, only if they go to the cheer shop. I definitely see how that's like a, you know, mm. come, you know, like a, an attraction. But the other thing is shipping is like, like what eight bucks, ten bucks, mm-hmm. something like that. So and the shirt itself? Just putting the shirt in the bag. And then the shipping is $8? I think it was. I'm pretty sure I paid. I'd have to check again. Hmm. Well, you guys, if you really want that shirt, you can pay 8 bucks. <laughs> Especially now that you can get them for like less than 20 Um, But that, that really depends on you guys. How much are you selling these shirts? We got it at 25 25 Yeah, see. Never mind. Good quality shirts. So, 25. is this the same shirt that you were talking about? The, what was it? The this one? one? Yeah, the one. No, this was a gift from homie, Hands and Feet. He's out of Phoenix. He's an aggressive rapper. Oh, shit. I thought it said Heartless for some reason. That's cool. I, I, I was like, I was hoping it did. Damn. Damn, kind of sad. Yeah, no, homie, Hands and Feet. Check him out. He's sick. No shit. Yeah. He's in a uh, local... He's in Phoenix area, Phoenix, Tempe area. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, nice it, to have those connections. It's very interesting to see, like, how the different genres are mixing in the different scenes. Um, it's, starting to, it's starting to feel a lot smaller, you know, because it, it's like, oh, you know so-and-so as well. It's like, cool, okay. Like, <laughs> now I... I mean, that's not a bad thing, as... Well, no, I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great thing because it's like, oh, because it's really, it's 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 really like, eye opening. It's like the music scene, is literally. Just everywhere. Like it's us. It's we you know we're really out here doing this. Yeah. It's, it's for the fucking love of it, man. Honestly. Yeah. As soon as, as soon as you start, it becomes a drug, and just to see everybody else taking the same drug as you. Yeah. It's fucking. It's it's um. It's similar to the same thing uh, as what the army will tell you, or what the army will tell you. Um, you know, you're building a bond, you're building a connection that mm. no one is going to be able to relate to unless they've been through it. Damn. Like a football team, mm. uh, like a marriage, you know what I mean? You were all colliding within the same fucking realm. Damn. Ugh. So fucking dope. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like, like exactly what you were just talking about, of uh, seeing a band that you perform with performing and with another band uh, somewhere else yeah, yeah. Nil. yo shout out to you Nil. shout out Nil. fucking dude shout out Nil. i was not expecting man they came with a seven days rest and and invited the damned yeah and um i believe they played second bro he, he fucking melted my face damn and the stage was like yeah. right here and i'm just like bro fucking he was like so into it dude yeah like, that type of performance really makes people connect with yeah. you yeah and that's why live performances are so critical you know what I mean because it builds that that connection absolutely so absolutely Ryan Dennison is another artist you have to see live Ryan Dennis shout out to yeah. you man Dennison Ryan Dennison oh Dennison yeah what's yeah. he from that is a great question I think from like Gallup area or no like uh uh what 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 music what band um does solo music but also okay. has a band called the dimensions i don't know if they're still doing that oh the very dimensions. always making music always doing something cool but the perform but the live performance is out of this world <sighs> it's like what the I fuck love hearing that shit. Just you know avatar I don't know. Ah, uh, my my friend um, Gary, shout out to you, Girthy Gary. Um, introduced him alongside with Kenny as well. Um, Avatar is an insane band that you wouldn't like expect mm. a sound from. I can't I can't think of the name of the song to be on uh, to be honest, but definitely something to get into. Check it out. Hell yeah! <sighs> Damn, there's so what many else? talented people, you know. In Santa Fe, I know, and you don't realize it until like you're surrounded by it, and you're like, wait, yeah, just just like you said, everyone, dude, yeah. If by the way, I always say this on the podcast, but if you or anybody you know uh, is interested in being a, in a podcast, come be a part of mine. We'll have a chat. We'll just sit, 
sip on water. I I can't promise to get high with you because then then I get a little slow with this guy, as you've seen. So, see. just watching when a couple of dudes mumble. Yeah, mumble, mumble, mumble. Uh, yeah. Mumble. <laughs> I mean, I th- I think I kept my composure for for the majority of that. Honestly, it's been a minute since I've had a podcast where it's just like conversation. Yeah, you know, because a lot of it is derived around like you know your music and and getting to know you, but you know, damn, I mean, nice conversation is is chill. Yeah, and it's hard because I don't want to talk too much, you know, because I've learned That's at this the point. point. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Specifically, this this but, podcast has dude, your name on it. It's yeah. about you. <laughs> now we're just talking about the shit. Yeah, no. Last time I was I was I was talking about an album that I was working on that never came out, man. I we, I ended up kind of releasing it as singles, but I mean, singles are the new thing, so that's not are, such a yeah. bad thing. Yeah, but I don't want to commit myself to too much, you know. I I do have a couple songs on the way. I just got my hands on some amazing beats, dude. And this kid, he's, oh my God, this, I mean, I don't want to say kid, you know, but like, he's a 16 year old producer from the Navajo Nation and he makes fucking fire. Holy fuck, dude. That's sick. Holy (laughs) fuck. Jeez. Can, Can you, uh, can you announce him? Are we allowed to say who he is? Um... Mystics. Mystics. Mystics 187, homie. Mystics 187. And I'm assuming that's an MIS. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I got the shit right. Because I just met him. I mean, we just recently started talking. No shit. Yeah. He's dope. It's good to be excited but about I, that, dude. I know that. There's a call. I'm going to make sure my shit's right before I go public. We're going to check it out. Yeah. Fact check me. If I get it wrong, you have to cut that out. <laughs> I have to edit it now. Yeah, I have to now, edit now it's gonna make me work. <laughs> Fucking priceless. Yeah, no, I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> M-I-S-T-I-X? Yeah. Boom. 187. 187. Oh, no, no, no. Miss. Mystics. M Y S T I C Z. Mystic with a Z. Yeah. Yes, I did start a live video. What's up? We're just chilling. Damn. If you got any questions, send them in. We're just talking this shit. Yeah. I have just one question for you. What the fuck? Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Unless you're home by yourself, then that's fine. But when you're in front of the camera, it's just better not to. You know? Because Joe Rogan has, like, the oh. perfect ability to, like, continue a conversation stone as fuck. And me, I, I'm like, I think I can. We <laughs> <laughs> It's like fuck You know It's kind of hard You've noticed that Josh Rivera My boy DJ Sabas Our podcast was like What <laughs> We got two stone dude <laughs> Don't get uh, high During a podcast <laughs> For your next podcast I wouldn't recommend Getting high by the See, way See I thought about it too That's why I kept Playing with it I was like Should I <laughs> Should I I I only took it here Because I, I assumed That you already did And I was just like ah, Well I mean I'll, I I'll did And I was like I should chill maybe okay. yeah, Fuck it We're fuck chilling it. anyways Thank you guys For hanging out So living in Taos How is that? Do, um, do you plan on Moving anywhere else? Well I live in Albuquerque But I work in Taos Oh Yeah Makes Okay But I'm from Shiprock <laughs> Some Shiprock Got it got it I don't know where the fuck I come up with Shiprock Cove. I was like, I'm hearing shit in my head. There is a cove. But yeah, I don't know where you heard that. <laughs> no, no, it yeah. didn't. The painting fell down and then just creepy shit happened. Oh, man. At dude. least my life stayed on. I'm really proud did. of you. Yeah. Blinky. Thank you, Kelsey. That shit was... Yeah, I, I don't know why. It flew off the wall. I don't, maybe it's because I have that thing against it. Maybe. I cannot wait to get that shower done. Yo, if you guys have ever not been in a shower with, like, rocks on the floor, do it. It's amazing. I swear to God. Huh. Just do it. It's like a massage in the feet while you're taking a shower. It's Damn. like a spa. Yeah, you should see his shower head. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I was like, whoa. But also, yeah, now, yeah. Now, now that I know about the rocks, it's like... Kind of, kind of like sets Damn. it right. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a, almost like you're making your own spa in your house in a way. Dude, the only thing I'm missing is the uh, wooden chairs, but I don't know the uh, specific one. Wow. It needs to be like at least a foot away because 
the way that it's designed, it's a square head, and I think it's 12 inches, so it's about yay big by yay big, of a flat shower head, waterfall shower head. And, like, there's two and a half feet between that and the wall. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, while you're doing some shit, you can just step away. So I need, like, something I can, like, to sit down with some steam water. and Bro, yeah. Fucking spa. Fucking spa. I want to know what your venue, because I had a venue for a little bit, and that shit's tough. I don't think I made it a year. Was it with the family? Or uh, was it just by yourself? Um, it was by myself. I had a, uh, I had a spot called Asterix in Shiprock. Asterix. Yeah. That's a dope name. Thank I like you. that. Yeah. Well, well, how did that feel, though, within the year? Um, There's not enough uh, promotion or... No. Activity. I mean, we had good shows, but we kept getting pushed back on when we were allowed to start. So, my because of the COVID thing? No, it was pre COVID. Pre COVID. Shit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And, um, like our first show, we started at like seven or eight o'clock. And it was our neighbor's, <laughs> it was, it was a restaurant. And they <laughs> called the cops on us and shut uh... us down. And we're like, what the fuck? Like, I pay for this space. This is my business. Right. Like, you know, I'm within my space. I'm, you know, I get it. It's loud. I'm sorry. But. <sighs> Still you know. fuck him, though. But hey, then, hey. What up, Dream Boy 96? <laughs> hey, what's up, Dream Boy? <laughs> Dream Boy has done my styling, has DJed my sets, has done all sorts of really. It's like. Dope shit. Yeah, yeah. I Shout out to you, dude. At this point, so at this point I, I do feel like. Like, I have established a pretty good team. Um, Around you, with the same mentality, same goal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, because yeah, I've been thinking about this shit a lot, too. It's like, because obviously, you know, I want growth. Right. But, then, like, what does that entail? Like, for a little bit, I was running, I, I was running a record label with a couple of friends of mine. Sick. And it was really gaining traction. But then it also tripped on itself, and now, you know, I, like, I still have some of the, like, I, I released all the Heart Museum and my solo stuff uh -huh. under a label, but I don't go around, like, advertising, like, jumping back into full-fledged label business, you know, because it was a lot of work, yeah. and the whole point of bringing so people in... And <clears throat> what, what, uh, what is the hardest part of that? Because that's something that I was thinking about. The hardest part of it... The hardest part of it is keeping really the direction, I guess. Because the more it grows, the more people want an input. Mm -hmm. It had gotten to a point to where it's like, I wanted to get a band on and everybody else was like, no. And I was like, what? Why? Like, these guys are amazing, and why do I even have to ask? It's like, I started, you know, because I, and I don't, I don't want to be that guy that's like, I started this shit, you know? But it's like, how did it turn, how did it get this way of where I can't get yeah. an artist that I feel very passionate about, that I know? And then the well, other... Well, who, who's corresponding with the decisions? Well, now it's just me. And so okay. it's like, if I'm going to do this again, I'm doing this my way. And then we're building it, you know. But it's like, I want to take my time doing it. Yeah. What I did what I did before was I brought everybody in as partners. And I was like, we all grow. Yeah. And it was very much that mentality. But then nothing could get done. <sighs> I was still doing was it too a friendly? lot of it, you know. Well... Fortunately, it, things collapsed for a sec, and then we all made amends, and everything's good now. Um, and I think it's, it's it was, um, it I think it was still a positive experience. Like we now we have that under our belt, mm -hmm. and now we know what what went well and what you know didn't work. Yeah, and yeah. what to avoid. What to avoid? Yeah. So I want to do it again, but I definitely. You know, I, I'll know when I'm ready. Like, 
like when you have the right money, the, the mm-hmm. right amount of time, the, the right, right energy. resources, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. For you. yeah. Well, shit. That's something I definitely want to get into. But, yo, I'm going to be cutting this uh, podcast off, yo, because we're almost done with our time. And, uh, you know, I I don't know if you guys want to continue listening to us. If you do, though, you can always just restart the podcast or send in some information and uh, maybe Mm -hmm. I can talk to you or something Mm -hmm. you know. Check Mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Any last words, Mr. Heartless? Anything that we want to mention that I not... Did I forget anything, sir? <coughs> um, support each other. Yes. I mean, that's really my big thing. Fucking, um, yeah. I'm always... The, yeah, yeah, support each other. I'm always going to be working with local photographers, local videographers. Ruben. Local, you know, like, let's build this shit together. Support each other. You know, that's the only way that this thing works. Yeah, got to connect, link up. You guys got to get into the chain, make it stronger, okay? Anyways, much love to everybody. Thank you for watching this podcast with Taylor Talks and Talks Local. I will see you on Monday with Miss Shay from 7 Days Rest. Can't wait to see y'all. Much love. Later, Tony. Bye.